Good day. Welcome to the 17th Annual International Conference of Education, Research and Innovation held in Seville, Spain in November 2024. The title of our paper is Perceived Values of Pedagogical Tools Before, During and After the Pandemic. I am Dr. Daniel Morin. My colleague is Sarah Ossini. We are both from the John Molson School of Business at Concordia University in Montreal, Canada. What is the perceived value of pedagogical tools before, during, and after the pandemic? The period before the pandemic, we can refer to fall 2019 where things were about normal. Traditional teaching methods were used, supplemented by some digital tools. And at that time, we like to focus how those tools, maybe video, PowerPoint, assignments, affect skills like critical thinking, problem solving, research, and creativity. Never thinking that the following semester will change everything. The period of the pandemic starts with winter 2020. That is a very special semester where about two thirds in the semester, we have to completely and very abruptly change the way we teach. Campuses around the world closed and we had within a few days to offer the course now completely online. Maybe at that time we thought that this abrupt transition from face-to-face -to, -face to online course delivery was only for that semester. Many research were done on how students have adapted and how professors have adapted. Then we have to start relying on new tools, on new digital tools. But the following semesters, fall 2020, to winter 2022, there was an increased feeling on loneliness and lack of motivation among students and instructors, also as documented by research. Also, inequalities in access to technology and online resources were identified, which could have an impact on student success. Mixed assessment of this online experience were published, some of them very positive, some of them negative, and anywhere in between. It was not a success for everybody, but it was not a failure for everybody. We have now come back to fall 2022 when university campuses reopen. We will examine those three semesters after the pandemic. So we now transition back from online to face-to-face -to -face delivery with some variation. Maybe some of us thought that we will go back to the past. No, the new normal is different. So we shift back now to an hybrid model because during two years we have developed online learning that could be adapted. So what is the new normal? Are we losing the flexibility or do we have to continue offer different possibilities? The methodology that we will use will depend on five components. We will select a course where we will collect data. We'll have the semesters as we have identified before. We will use an adapted questionnaires to try to understand students' perception. We will specify five, excuse me, four order skills. And we will look at the learning activities and resources. As for the course, we have selected a first year mandatory course in the MBA program at the Canadian University. This is a coordinated analytics course to be taken in the first semesters of the program. Most sections have been taught by the same instructor since its creation. And the course is always coordinated by that professor. The semester, as we said before, 
we are using fall 219 as the pre-pandemic. Winter 220 is the pandemic emergence. This is the abrupt closure. Fall 220, winter 221, fall 221, and winter 222, four semesters of pandemic. And then we have three semester post-pandemic, fall 222, winter 2023, and fall 2023. We should know that there are no courses of this course is not offered during the summer session. The fall semester, semester is from September to December and the winter from January to April. The questionnaire that is used for this story has been adapted from Thomas 2001 and has been used in many other research. We want to capture some element of the respondents, such as demographics, attitude, perception, and reality. The focus of this paper is on perception. The perception of student, whether they are developing higher order thinking skills and at what level. What are the order, the higher order thinking skills that we are considering? We are looking at four, research skills, which is investigating, finding, and synthesizing information, problem solving, deriving alternative and solution, creativity, ideas that are novel and unique, and critical thinking to analyze, inference, reasoning, evaluation, explanation, and interpretation. The learning activities and resources in the course were mainly PowerPoint notes, YouTube videos, assignments, examinations, group projects, and practice problem. Let us look at the results. The first question under consideration is how did the PowerPoint notes contribute to the development of higher order thinking skills? A one correspond to not at all, two moderate, and three correspond to a lot. And we are presenting here the average score. The semester that we should always consider is the winter 2020. That winter 2020 is where the pandemic caused the closure of all universities. What we see at this point from the previous semester, it seems that the perception of students as developing skills that is more elevated than before the pandemic. Well, that could be due to the fact that we university professors have put everything to help students succeed within this such a difficult period. Perhaps at the end of winter 2020, everybody hoped that it was over and will come back to campuses. But it was not the case. In fall 2022, in fall 2020, well, perception started to decrease and decrease after two semesters of fully uh, closing university. At some point in time in the third pandemic semester, we saw a little increase, but it went down again. Fall 2022 is the end. We are now in what we could have called the new normal. So there is a first increase, uh, enthusiasm about going back to campus, but that did not continue after 2023. And there we are. And how are the YouTube videos contributing? YouTube videos are produced by the instructor to illustrate how to run many of the quantitative analysis because this is an analytics course. Therefore, these st students just go to the YouTube videos and it will help with their learning of the software. Again, if we look at the first semester, the rupture semester, we find that again, students give more, um, they perceive that these YouTube video, just as the PowerPoint is going to help them even more than before. So we saw an increase. Again, the, the same similar, the similar approach follows in the other semester where the first full semester of pandemic, everything went down and down again. And then after this period of negativity, there is a little increase hoping that things will come back to normal. But then again, 
it will increase again once the pandemic is over and we come to campus. The YouTube videos have contributed in all semesters to the problem solving skills. Although we can see that some other skills were also developed, but it's mainly the YouTube video because they're about illustration on how to solve the problem using the, the, the program is helping. The assignments are normally the tool that we use for helping students practice the material. Again, that special semester did not show what we expected given the first two tables. In this case here, we saw that the belief in the assignment, the perception as they're contributing to research went down. As contributing to creativity, it went down into critical thinking. Basically, they are seen as contributing the most to problem solving. The examinations that we offer, that we give in the course, are supposed to help students really focus and assimilate everything they have learned so far. But we see in the first semester where the pandemic broke, again, we see this is not the case all over, but it is the case for problem solving and for critical thinking, where we see that there is the more, there is a belief that it's going to help them even more that we are in the pandemic. But we can see in the following semester, there is a decrease as we have observed previously and a little increase when we reach the fall 2021. After the pandemic, so there is a big increase, the belief that those exams will really contribute to everything, ex especially problem solving and critical thinking. The project, which was a team project, a group of five students, identify real world data and work on this project together. Of course, because uh, in the first semester, we will see before the pandemic, it is seen as contributing the most to creativity and critical thinking. At the first semester of the breakout pandemic, we see it contributes the most to creativity. When we are within the pandemic, full-fledged pandemic, it create, it helps looking at problem solving, later to research and creativity, to research again and creativity. So it is, it oscillate between research and creativity. This is much more difficult to do the project during the pandemic because students have never met each other they are in their own country and could not enter Canada because of the restrictions of the pandemic. They form a virtual group. People that they have never met in person meet online on Zoom to study the data. It's a big challenge. After the pandemic, it is seen as now contributing more to problem solving and then to critical thinking. We can see that the the project is a very important component of the course because it seems to develop and as perceived by students, most of the skills that are very important, especially those four skills. When we look at the, the last um, used tool in the course, it practice problem. Now we know that the one is not at all, two is moderate and three is a lot. The first semester here, things did not go well. Practice problem did not seem to contribute as much to anything. And think about the below two, it tends to not much. During the pandemic, these practice problem did not help with research as seen by students. Problem solving in some instances, yes. And not to creativity, and a little bit to creative, to critical thinking, but mainly to problem solving. 
In conclusion, are there changes in student perception? Well, the winter 220, which is the sudden shift, we know that students saw more positively the PowerPoint notes. We have to say that the professor has enhanced and enrich these notes that could be adapted to online teaching. Also, the notes were recorded. The lectures were recorded. So it became a very useful tool. The YouTube videos also are seen as very important. It could be that these are given the sense of connection to the instructor and hope for return to normalcy. Other research have mentioned that it is the student, the professor's attitude toward the student that could be a major factor in the success. The assignment, they are perceived significantly to improve problem solving skills. During the pandemic, the project became very much appreciated as a link to the outside world. It support fostered the support system among students despite physical distancing. It makes the MBA program feel more tangible, enhancing all order skills. In the post-pandemic, the increased perceived e effectiveness of the power rate nodes in developing the four key skills is still important. Now, the, import, the improvement and the quality of the completeness of the PowerPoint node due to online course delivery is having a very important. We have to say that during the pandemic semester, we have introduced quizzes, online quizzes, and they were just worth 10%. It has helped students keep uh, on track with the learning, not to fall behind. Lack of motivation was also a serious problem. But after the pandemic, they remained, they were not using, they were not as useful, and we just made them elective. We thank you for your attention, and we wish we were to you in CV Spain, and from us in Canada, we wish you a great conference. Thank you for listening from Danielle and Sarah in Montreal. Thank you.